become a purple mermaid with hints of blue and teal. I had a lot of fun creating this look and I hope you guys will have some inspiration to do for your Halloween as well. Now let's get on to the look. Okay, so what I've done in preparation for this look, I used the NYX Angel and I also put these two foundations together, the L'Oreal True Match in Porcelain, and also the L'Oreal Infallible in 102. I put these together to give me more of a bronze mermaid look because I'm very fair. And then also for my brows, I used the Cabrow in 3 and the L'Oreal Brow Styles Plumper in the shade Light to Medium. And I made my brows more of a feathery look. I've also already done concealer and powder, so we can get on to the eyes. So today I'm going to be using uh, Take Me Back to Brazil BH, BH Cosmetics palette, and probably some of the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels palette, and some other single eyeshadows here and there. So I'm getting inspiration from this picture right here, and I don't know who this artist is, but it was on the Ofra Cosmetics uh, Instagram page a long time ago though. And also from this girl right here, I found it on Google and I really like it. So if any of you guys know who these people are, can you tell me down below so then I can uh, link to them. Um, I've already primed my eyes, and I'm just going to create a transition shade with the Hoola Light Bronzer by Benefit. And on a E27 by Morphe. Now going to the BH Cosmetics Taking Me Back to Brazil palette, I'm going to grab this purple right here on a Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to go into the crease and a little bit above, just keeping my brush straight going into the inner corner as well and then blowing it out once the product is mostly off. Grabbing a little bit more so then I can flick it out this way to where my uh, end of my tail is on my brow. Now going down to this bottom purple shade right here, same brush, and pretty much the same spot. Just going back and forth. Now going into like that fuchsia shade again, right at the top right corner. Just going to build up the color a little bit more, more directly into the crease. Just a tiny bit above, but nothing too far up to the brown bone. And again, just flinging it out to the tail here. Going back into this purple once again, just focusing it in the crease and building up the color. Doing circular motions as well as windshield wiper. Now I'm going to grab this kind of fuchsia shade right here. I'm going to keep using the same brush into the crease. So that's what it should look like. Now I'm going to take a Still Spa Essentials eyeshadow blender. Then I'm going to go into the True Naked Covergirl Jewels palette. I'm going to grab this purple right here and focus this in the crease, more on the outer corner. out to like the wing shadow area going in with the M433 and just blending that out now I'm gonna grab this purple right here it's more of a deeper kind of on the cool tone side same brush as I just used for that other purple and it's gonna go lower down in my crease and pretty much stopping like in the middle of my eye not gonna go all the way to the inner corner Hitting the outer V with it as well. Mm. 
Just make sure it's blending into all those other colorful shades. Now I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Bake Shadow in the color Passion Purple. And I'm going to take it on this generic kind of crease brush. This is going directly into the crease and on the lid in the outer corner. And don't put this close to your inner corner. Then I'm going to blend it again. Then I'm going to take a mixture of the e.l.f. Big Shadow and the Dark Purple Shadow in the BH Cosmetics palette, tapping it off, and just going more detailed in the wing here, and then feathering it into my crease. Bringing it to the inner corner. And now I'm going to use the Cakewalk Single Shadow by ColourPop. It's a purple with a teal slash blue shift. But first I'm going to put on a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer and putting it on the center of my lid. Now I'm going to take the shadow on my finger and then tap it in place. Now I'm just going to blend the edges, so up here just a little bit, and I'm going to take the Morphe MB27, and I'm going to take this dark shade right here and this one right here to blend out that lid shade. So just blend those edges. So when you blend the purple into the shade, the combination of the two creates like a kind of a blue hue to it, and it's very pretty. So I just highlighted my inner corner and brow bone with this shade right here. It's like a white pearlescent shade with a pink shift. Now I'm going to do the lower lash line. So grabbing this shade right here and working on the outer corner first. And I'm using an Eco Tools uh, smudge brush, I believe. Um, going into this purple shade right here, the bottom one in the row, on the outer corner, bringing it to the inner corner. Now taking the deeper one in the palette, mixing it with that kind of a fuchsia shade, or the outer part of the lower lash line, kind of connecting it to that wing portion, going into the purple shade in here, outer corner, and then making this end more dramatic and flared out compared to the inner corner, so it's going to, it's kind of like a cat eye-ish. Using a little bit of the e.l.f. Bake Shadow, this is pretty much all we did on the top of the lid so just kind of replicating it and I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit with a MAC 221 brush now using the Morphe MB27 that pointed one going into that top fuchsia shade working it a little bit closer to the lash line now the girls that I got inspiration from on my phone they have glitter on their cheeks or on their under eyes kind of like glitter tears or something like that but I don't have any loose glitter. The only glitter that I really have is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. So I'm going to put some kind of near my inner corner, I think, with the shade Midnight Cowboy. Just a little bit on the inner corner, dispersed to the under eye. So now I'm going to add lashes and mascara, and then we'll go on to the scales. So I put on some Ardell Natural Lashes, as you can see, I did the other eye, and now we're ready to do the scales. So I have this kind of meshy, uh, triangle type of thing here. I think I might have gotten this off of a, a bag that used to have like oranges or something in it, I don't know, kind of ghetto, but this is all I have, and I feel like it works pretty good. Um, or you could use fishnet stockings if you have that laying around the house. So, from looking at the reference photos, most of them have the scales and more of the contour areas of your face. So, along the forehead, temples, cheekbones, and jaw. So, we're going to be using the same palettes and shadows that we used before. I may also include the Essence Metal Glam Eyeshadow in the shade Sugar Mint Candy. And this is what it looks like right here. 
It's a mint uh, jewel toned type of shade. I'm going to put it along my cheekbone right here. And then I'm going to grab a Stills Paw Essentials eyeshadow blender brush. And I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics, that purple shade that we used a lot, that uh, fuchsia type of shade. And then I'm just going to run it along. So just make sure you have it taut. And don't go too low. I rather go up onto the cheekbone than lower than the hollow of your cheek. So once you have that down, you can go into a deeper purple and concentrate that more in the deeper areas. So don't um, blend it around as much, like up here, up down there. So that's what it should be looking like. Make sure to get back here by your ear. Now I'm going to add a little bit of blue. So one of these darker shades around here. So add darker blue shades. And closer back to the ear you're going to put this. Get more concentrated back there. And now I just wiped out my brush and then I'm going to blend it. Now out of the, this little palette right here that I'll leave the name to down below because I can't really remember. Um, some of these kind of shimmery light blue shades. I ran it over where we had the blue so it can be a little bit more sparkly. And then going to this shade right here, adding that kind of green feel. Ooh, I'm snatched. So that's what she looks like. Looks pretty good. So now we're going to do the forehead. So I'm just going to place it right there and then pretty much do the same thing over again. So I'm going to get this temple area. Pretty much everywhere you're going to put the purple. So you're going to basically do what you did on your jaw, up in your forehead, and right about here. So this is what it should look like. So I just made like a kind of a little bit of a triangle right about here, kind of an area. And then, so you have the contour and then you just brought it up into the forehead area. So doing the same thing, so a fuchsia purple light color all over, deepen it up in the hollows or like by the temples, um, a deeper purple. And then you go into a darker blues and you deep it up again and then you can highlight with a shade kind of like this so that's what i did on my forehead see right here so you really see the scales and i did that as well down here so then you just do it the same on this side but first i would like to highlight my cheekbones while i'm here so just grab my highlighting brush and you can highlight with a pink shade like fenty beauty makeup revolution purple shade right up top here or this BH Cosmetics one of these bottom shades right here that's more of a greeny color I'm going to highlight with the NYX Cosmetics Strobe of Genius palette and I'm going to use this purple shade right here and just blend it in put a little bit of that on your nose Maybe the center of the forehead, just a little bit on the chin. Keep its bow. And then you can add a little bit of that white, uh, more champagne shade. Just to the same areas to brighten up and not be so um, colorful if you want to. So just highlights things a little bit more. And maybe take a little bit of that teal shade. And just run it along there as well. So you add back in that kind of green type of feel. So I did the other side of my face now. So this is what it looks like. And I also added some details here on my chest. So I had some scales right here. Some uh, shadowing 
right on my collarbones and then highlighted them as well and some scales right here depending what you're wearing if you're just wearing a bikini or you have an actual outfit um you could put scales like on your arms highlight your shoulders which reminds me i should do that as well you know just don't have the um all the scales on your face because it kind of leaves your rest of your body um doesn't look the same i don't know how to say it um and then just put some loose curls in there this is just hair that's been in a hair tie for a couple hours so it doesn't really look like it but you get the point. I should have used this today. This is the Stila Manificent Metals Glitter and Glow Shadow in Diamond Dust. This would have looked beautiful on the lids if you don't have that shade. Glitter like this would have been awesome. And for lips, I would like to have a purple shade that kind of matches the scales. Or like a blue, purple, pink shade. But the best I can find right now in my collection is Milani Lipstick in shade Pink Frost. So that's what I'm going to use today. So there we go. So that's pretty much the entire look. So thank you guys for watching my haul week. If you missed the other ones, you can click them at the end in the end card. And all the products I use will be in the description box down below. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.